Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find the equation of the family of straight lines passing through the point of intersection of two given straight lines. Let's suppose we have two straight lines like this whose equations are given and their point of intersection is the point P and let's suppose its coordinates are x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So through the point P how many straight lines can we draw? Well, actually we can draw infinite number of straight lines. I am going to show you a few examples and then you will get the idea. I have drawn a few here and you can draw as many as you want. We can draw actually infinite number of straight lines through the point P. So now the question is what would be the general equation of those infinite number of straight lines and that is exactly what we are going to derive here. Now I am going to give a name to the left hand side expression of each of the equations here and then I am going to write the equation by satisfying with the coordinates of the point P. Since P lies on both the lines, the coordinates of P should satisfy both the equations. If we satisfy the first equation with the coordinates of P, we can write it like this. And similarly, if we satisfy the second equation with the coordinates of P, we can write it like this. Now let's assign a number to each of these four equations. Since we are trying to derive the equation of family of straight lines, in fact that equation should represent a whole bunch of straight lines, right? So ultimately it will be an equation of a straight line, that means a linear equation. So we have been given two linear equations and from there using all those parameters we have to come up with a generic equation of a straight line. That means we have to come up with a generic linear equation. So here we really don't have to do any product or anything. We probably have to come up with some clever sums that will also represent the equation of a straight line. So next what I am going to do, I am going to see what happens if we add equation number 3 and 4. When we add equation number 3 and 4, it is going to look like this and then if we combine the x sub 1 terms and the y sub 1 terms and the constant terms separately, the equation going to look like this and then we can rewrite this equation like this and if you carefully notice, this also represents a linear equation which is satisfied by the coordinates of P. Next, I am going to add equation number 3 with 2 times the equation number 4. Then the resulting equation will look like this and then if we remove the parenthesis and combine the x sub 1 terms and the y sub 1 terms and the constant terms separately, the equation will look like this and we can rewrite this equation like this. And here again, if you carefully notice, this is also nothing but a linear equation which is satisfied by the coordinates of P. So as we keep on adding the two equations, we continue to get a new straight line which also passes through the point P. So ultimately what we can do, we can add the first equation with some real number times the second equation, then the resulting equation will actually give us the generic equation of all the straight lines that will be passing through the point P. And I have noted it here that the first equation plus k times the second equation that gives us a new equation which also looks like the equation of a straight line which satisfies the coordinates of P. And here if you carefully notice the resulting equation is also a linear equation and this equation is satisfying the coordinates of P. That means this new equation is giving us the general equation of all straight lines that are passing through P. So let's write down the general equation then and the general equation is going to be like this. The equation of the first straight line plus some real number k times the equation of the second straight line. So this is the general equation of the family of straight lines or the group of straight lines or the set of straight lines that are passing through the point P. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.